Hey guys, welcome back to the RT Clinic. Today we're going to show you how to inline suction on my little friend here, Trauma Man. He's got a, looks like we have a 6.0 Bavona in and he needs suction, so let's get to it. wash your hands okay so my hands have been washed in most cases this is a sterile procedure is what we're gonna do today so we remove rings bracelets whatever you might have wash your hands Hi hand hygiene is extremely important when it comes to sterile suction in your patient so what we're gonna use today you can see right here this is a barred sterile suction catheter it's probably expired because we're in the simulation center but it works just the same. There's a set of sterile gloves in here. We have a red rubber catheter. The red rubber catheter says right here, it's, it's a, a 10 to 12 French red rubber catheter, 18 inch, exactly what we need for sterile suction in our patient. So let's get to it. All right, let's open this thing up. You're gonna see cuff end right here. Let's lay it out, get rid of the trash. So we're gonna open this, this piece up, open it up this way, suction catheter, Glove thumb. Okay, we can go like this to maintain the sterile area. We're gonna pull it open. And so now we're sterile. We want to keep these gloves sterile, but you see that our red rubber catheter is actually actually wrapped up here. So let's go in, start my right hand, go on this way, pull it from the bottom. These gloves are always the absolute tightest as they could be. We're going to pull it on just like that. Like this. Okay. The next one, we're going to take our gloved hand. We're going to slide it in under the cuff like this. Put this hand in and pull it over. And that glove was actually backwards. So, it's going to go like this. Now, take this side. Open this piece up. Now, this is the little water bowl they give you extremely el cheapo water bowl so um, it's nice if you have a partner that can put a little bit of uh, most in most cases we do sterile saline it's just really for cleaning out the suction catheter that will go in here now we're going to go to suctioning i'm going to have two different pieces of this so this is my red rubber it's closed off as you can see right now i'm going to have a clean hand a dirty hand so i'm left-handed because i am special so left-handed i'm going to be holding this one the clean hand now this is a very small red rubber catheter but you're going to get the point so this one right here i can pull this out and what we're going to have this is going to be my dirty hand my left one okay in case i need to do anything so my clean hand is going to be right here this is what's going to help feed it in and then bring it out now that's why my left hand's dirty i can go over here to my suction piece it's nice to have this thing set up already and I can put this inside the suction line. Now this is a little bit large one. This is my suction line, still a dirty hand. See, I'm touching dirty tubing right now. So what I'm gonna do in this case is I wanna suction this guy. So you're gonna do a couple different things. You're gonna uh, pre-oxygenate, it's always good. You're gonna tell them the procedure you're doing. Most people that have had a trait for a while, they already know what you're doing. Uh, but we're gonna go, we're gonna take this mask off. I've seen people before go through this little hole that looks cool, it looks like what you should be doing, but as you go through this hole, bam, 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 you're gonna be hitting some dirty area in there. So, use the dirty hand, take off the trait collar, give them a little bit of warning, taking off the trait collar. Now, still the clean hand on this one, I'm gonna go down, so I meet resistance, pull back a little bit, and then I'm gonna suction on the way out. Two ways to suction, continuous, you can hold as you pull out, or you can do a little bit of a bop, 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 and then pull on the way out, so. Not really sure what that's called. We're gonna call it the bop, bop, bop. So, let's go in. Clean hand. All right, Mr. Headless Man, we are going to suction you at this point. So, uh, let's start with this. It's gonna cause you to cough, and that's okay. We're gonna try to clean out your, your airways a little bit. So, you can see I'm feeding this in. Feeding this in, keeping my hands clean there. I'm gonna go in, go, 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 go. I meet resistance, withdraw a little bit, start suctioning, suctioning, suctioning. You'll also see sometimes people will twist it a little bit. Old school, people have been doing it a while, the twist on the way out. And there's exactly how you suction your patient. Now, I've seen people go down multiple times. Honestly, you're not supposed to do it, but let's just, I'm just gonna show you the way to go down the next time. 
So to maintain sterile, this would, this would be a second time we could go down. Meet resistance, you're probably bashing the carina, and when you meet resistance and you hit that carina right there, they'll usually cough almost every time. Down, apply suction, withdraw, withdraw, withdraw. You can spin or whatever you want to do, and then suction. Now, now that we're finished, wrap this thing up. We can reapply some oxygen, and that's how you do it. So, sterile inline suctioning, it's something that takes a little bit of practice to do, but it's something that almost anybody can do. Respiratory therapists do it a lot, and a lot of facilities nursing does it. So if you have anything at the bottom, please comment, subscribe, like, anything you want to put in. I'll try to shoot some more videos for you. Thanks for watching.